Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, the topic of this lesson is uh, take heed. You know, it might sound like a broken record, but you know, it's important that we all take heed. Okay, and uh, taking heed to these scriptures and the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Being mindful, being considerate of these times. All right, you know, Elder Apostle Tahar, he coined this year through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the year of the Lord turn up, you know, and uh, we believe that. I believe that, you know, because things are only going to get worse. All right, they're talking about over here in Jersey bringing military because the uh you know it's been a, a uprise in the numbers going back to 2020 they haven't seen these numbers rise since 2020 and uh a lot of people are getting sick a lot of children is going into the hospital you know i got somebody that worked there and uh they was telling me how it's the children that's a lot sick right now you know, and, and, and it's it's uh it's, it's funny how um, E he calculates, you know he calculates to a T, you know the the uh, the peaks and the the uh, you know the fallout, you know, because he knows he knows what the hell he's doing with these devices, you know they they do um stimulation, is it stimulation simulation simulation drills with the computer. They enter things in and they play things out over and over and over till they get a result that they like, you know? And if you don't know what's going on, then, you know, you need to wake the hell up, all right? You know, and mainly, like we always say before these lessons, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of the whole four elect. And the whole four elect is those who are striving, you know, for their crown and Hoping to seek salvation of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. No other name. Okay? His name is not JC. His name is not Yah, Jah, Jehovah. The name of the Father is Yahweh. The name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the world is going to witness it real soon, man. Alright? The Lord is making his name known in the earth. The scriptures say in 2nd Edges 9, he is visiting the earth in which he made. All right, so the scriptures say, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So we have to measure the time diligently, diligently, all right? So, you know, I wanted to just do a couple, of, a couple, of, bring out a couple of precepts, you know, about taking heed, all right? So I didn't read, I didn't read over these precepts. I kind of just, you know, dug them up. But uh, I didn't read over them, so let's just start here. This is Second Peter's chapter two and one. It says, "But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false prophets, false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction." Woo! And that's going on that happened back then and it's going on now all right you got different israelite groups who claim that they israelites which is true so-called negroes latinos native and seminarian so-called west indian so-called haitians they are the hebrew israelites that the bible speaks of the true israelites all right but they come and teach different doctrines you know as the scriptures say it says but there were false prophets also among the people. So you got false prophets, you know, and like the apostle said uh, a couple of months ago, you know, there, there's there's more false prophets than there is true prophets because the, the true elect, all right, the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord is a very small number because that's who the Lord is dealing with. He's not saving all of Israel that's go around, all right? Two thirds of the Lord's people gonna have to die, 
as the scriptures say in second edges 9 it says they must know it after death by pain meaning they got to get destroyed on this side in order for them to get the truth you know and if you have a problem with that then you got to take that up with the lord all right your problem is with the lord not me this is not me coming up with these things this is scripture second edges the ninth chapter go on reading before you get all emotional all right jake is very emotional that the emotion that they have for hearing something that they don't like or displeasing is going to lead to your destruction all right so kind of sun bottom he says um, but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among who excuse me among you it says who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that brought them you see even denying the lord man i don't have to, I, I can't name names the one name that come in mind that deny the lord all right is um ooh, blocking off but anyway uh Shalakia just they got my turn I want to turn they blocking the street off but um you have uh, a group called one body in Yahawashai which really they're one body in Satan and they deny the Lord all right they're denying the Lord denying, denying the Lord miracles you know saying that the chariots are an angel there is no chariots you know no angels that ride in the vehicles. Yahweh Shai never performed miracles, you know, through the Father and the Spirit or the Rakakwadash, you know, to uh heal people and all that, man. All right, you just got one guy the Lord just brought swift judgment to. Was this guy named Rap the News? All right, and he denied Yahweh Shai. You see? So that's why right now, if if anything, <laughs> you should have been taking heed, man. All right, take heed. Please swift judgment come. So it says, uh, even denying the Lord that brought that brought them and bring upon them swift destruction. Swift destruction. It says, and many shall follow their his ways by reason of whom they by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Yeah, they speak of the truth, evil. As if it's evil, we teach the truth. You know, we're out here to prophesy and warn for you to take heed. And if you don't take heed, well, that's on you. All right? So what we're saying is evil, how? But we get it, all right? The Lord said that, you know, the, the servant is not greater than his master. If they call it our Lord uh, uh, the devil, they're going to call us the devil. We're teaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's word, not ours. And and Yahweh Shai, he um he uh how, how how is it written? Um I forgot how is it written, but the Lord uh he uh he witnessed that this world is wicked. Alright, this world is wicked. Alright, when Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, he witnessed that this world is wicked. Alright. So anyway, so now Let's go into that word. Strong's G684. Apolia. Apolia. Alright, that's the Greek word for pernicious. Pernicious. It says destroying. Utter destruction. So pernicious means destroying. Utter destruction. It says of vessels. A perishing, ruining, destruction. So when these guys teach these false doctrines, they're destroying you. They're destroying you. Not only you, but your whole family. All right? Because, you know, if you're a man and you have a woman, you may have children. You know, you want to teach your children. All right? Of what you know, the truth. So if you've been taught lies, you're going to teach your children lies. All right, like for an example, when it comes to the MOTB, 
you got these guys, they still saying it's an embargo, Christianity, you know, this, that, except for what it is. And it's actual, it's the actual, it's, the word mark goes into karagma, which is actually a device, all right? Which we here at Great Millstone believe is the microchip, all right? Without a shadow of a doubt, okay? Throughout research, you know, certain uh, uh, videos that make it evident, you know, you can actually go into and look and see what the elites are planning on doing in this world. And that's turning us into transhumans to put technology inside the body. So is it far-fetched? No. You know, people thought we were reaching years ago, laughed, they scoffed, uh, you had the dude Baloo, he had a chip on his hand, a little uh, potato chip, and he was eating it. Look, GMS, I got the chip, I got the chip. You know, where's scoffing ass at? All right, you know, but now you can see it. You know, people are getting plugged to technology right now as I speak, you know, because that thing is going out every day. People are getting that thing every day. And I mean, as in, uh, I mean, as in uh, the uh, prelude, all right? I'm gonna just say that, as in the prelude, all right? They're getting that right now. And that's a form of technology going inside the body, all right? It's just not a regular, uh, you know what? This is something different, it's experimental, you know? You know, now, in a, what is it, another day or two? I believe, what is it, January 5th, they school to cut on 5G? Well, we're going to see, you know, if, if something, you know, may happen to those who, who have it or may not. We shall see, all right? And that's why this is a watcher's game, man, a waiting game, waiting patiently for the day of the Lord. But also, in the meantime, taking heed, man, taking heed, all right? So let's move on. As a matter of fact, let me uh, look up the word taking heed. So lock you, let me, uh, let me make this move real quick. So I can actually set up and continue to teach. All right. Word taking heed. You could quick quickly Google search the word taking heed means to pay attention to to pay attention to he failed to take heed of our advice. Woo. You know, if you get got by Satan, all right, because he's the god of this world, then you're gonna you're gonna be taken, you're gonna it says it says um you're gonna be taken by his uh, advi uh, device, all right? It says, to pay attention to, he failed to take heed to our advice, all right? And uh, there's a scripture on that. Matter of fact, let's go there. This is 2 Corinthians chapter four and verse three. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them, which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So if, if you go ahead and, you know, listen to the mind control and listen to the false prophets, the men that are teaching uh, what's the word? Pernicious ways. I got to look it up again. Salakia. Let me come back. Got to get it right. Got to get it right. Yeah. Pernicious ways. Okay. Pernicious ways. So if you, you're listening to those false prophets teaching pernicious ways, okay, which is destruction, then you're going to be destroyed. It says... It says, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahawashai. All right, because Yahawashai carries that glorious light, which is this word. And this word resonates with our spirit. All right, the Lord called upon certain men to go out and teach. You know, the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. 
So yeah, many are called, but there's only a few that is actually chosen, and that's the elect. So the light of the glorious gospel, which is to enlighten our minds, to wake us up out of sleep, you know, so that now we can realize what time it is, you know, who we are as a people, what's coming down the pipe, all right? The Lord is warning, warning the world. He's warning you. It says, who the image of Yahweh should shine unto them. So the Lord is not shining unto, unto all Israelites, man. He's only shining unto the elect. And, you know, and if, you know, you understand that you will want the Lord to shine upon you with this truth. So take heed, man. All right. Take heed. Second Peter's chapter one. Second Peter's chapter one, verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, unto the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. So it says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy because prophecy is, is the evidence. Prophecy is, is actually coming, pat, coming to pass to prove the word of the Lord is true. All right. So when you have the men of the Lord prophesizing, you know, saying the things that are going to happen before it happened and then it starts happening, you know that the word of the Lord is true. And there's plenty, plenty of men and women you know, for what I'm thinking, you know, I know it's plenty of men and women that can admit to it. You know, if 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 they have um, any dignity, you know, any any uh, integrity in themselves to, to for truth, they will admit it. And uh, I'm thinking of a video, I believe Elder Apostle Sahar put up. This was probably I don't know last year, months ago, where the guy was admitting on his show that. When he would walk past the Israelites in the camps and he tried to diss us at the same time, but also, you know, he tried, he wanted to speak on the truth that he received. He said for the, he said they would curse, you know, Esau out, whatever, whatever. But he said for at least five minutes, they would go into these prophecies, you know, as if we don't go into it all through camp, you know, yeah, but that's, a, that's, that's pride for you. But the point is, is that he said that they would talk about these things. They would talk about. Uh, the things that are happening now And they're happening now So if that's the case If the men of the Lord were right You don't think they're right on everything else? You know You got you got to use discernment You got to be honest with yourself man You know you can't be honest with others If you're not honest with yourself You know It says We have also a more sure word of prophecy Whereunto you do well that ye take heed. See, taking heed. And we read what taking heed means. You know, taking heed to the advice, taking heed to the warning. All right. At least, you know, you'll be taken by Satan. You'll be taken by his tricks. You know, the, the uh, plan, the, the, the trickery on your mind. All right. Because this is truly a spiritual war, man. Ooh, scripture come in mind. This is truly a spiritual war. Uh, Ephesians 6 I'll get it real quick This is Ephesians 6 and 10 It says Finally my brethren Be strong in the Lord And in the power of his might You know So we gotta be strong in the Lord How do you be strong in the Lord? Alright Praying You know Constantly enduring For this truth For righteousness sake Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Alright Cause uh one of my favorite chapters, Sirach, the second chapter, it says, uh, make not haste in a time of trouble. Cleave unto him. Depart not away. You know? So anyway, it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So the wiles of the devils is a trickery, man. The plan, the plan, the trickery on your mind to make you believe in lies 
all right they're, they're pushing the spirit of fear you know they got people wearing these di these diapers on their face so that they can suppress the immune system you know people after after saying saying something and for so long and then you seeing others do it you tend to do it you know they're leaving the house going to the park walking outside at a park with trees that give oxygen grass and they got the diaper on their face you know because they think they're protecting themselves for something you know and then it's is if you did your research even the the, the um esau's um Esau's um, warlocks, you know, that work in these facilities. All right, they they even tell you it doesn't protect you. All right, it's basically to you supposed to prevent when they do surgery. The diaper is to prevent them from contaminating the subject, not protecting them from the subject. So, you know, common sense play a big factor as well. All right. But it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is most far more more important because the Lord controls the spirits, man. All right. The Lord uh said the deceived and the deceiver are his. You see? Whew. It says, put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And the whole arm is this word, it's this truth. You gotta believe in the old to the new. You can't believe in the old and dish Yahweh Shai. You know, these guys, hey, that's why the guy got swift judgment, man. We're not making mockery and, and, and boasting and proud the fact that, you know, what happened to him. We're using it because the Lord did it. And we're giving you a warning to take heed. At least it be you. You know, we fear the Lord. Did not Paul say, did not Apostle Paul say, um... Let, let, let me get it real quick. Because I could quote it, but I'd rather read it. All right, let me let me come back here. Okay, I'll come back here. Second Corinthians 5. And uh start at nine it says wherefore we labor that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him so we want to be accepted of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai not rejected all right Esau is rejected okay which is profane you know he's outside the temple and this is why he's so butthurt and so angry all right because he's a hey, he sold his birthright to Jacob all right and then Jacob supplanted him, all right, by um, by uh, uh, what you call it with Rebecca, okay, where he disguised himself as E to get the blessing. But that was ordained by the heavenly Father. That was the Most High's will, all right. And that shows you, even within reading that story and understanding it, that Yahweh hates Esau, as, as he said, man, I have loved Jacob and hated Esau. So you see how the Lord did him like that, man. Because the Lord is showing you how much he hates Esau. So anyway, it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahawashai, Hamashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So we got to present ourselves to the Lord when that time come. And you're going to be rewarded for whatever you done that was good or that was bad. All right? No one is exempt. No one is exempt, man. All right. Every creature belongs to the Heavenly Father. And it's a scripture in Job, I think the 38th chapter. I get I gotta get it again. But um the Lord said if he called all the spirits back to him, all right, then guess what? Every everybody will perish, roughly paraphrasing. So you know that the most high controls everything, man. Okay. So anyway, it says verse 11. Here's the point. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. So, if we know the terror of the Lord and we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, what is it that a man of the Lord would do? He will warn you because the Lord is not to be playing with, man. It's not to be reckoned with. All right? It's not a joke. Men, men, women losing their lives, children. Okay? 
you Israelites, being destroyed, as the scriptures say, for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, he will also reject you. So take heed. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So we're persuading you to do right. But we're, get, we're being called evil for pointing out when the Lord sends forth judgment. We're are called evil because we're pointing out where the Lord has sent forth judgment. And guess what? The dude rap the news is, is old news, man. Because there's many more, all right, of the wicked, of the Israelites that's going to be destroyed. That's old news. Rap the news is old news, man. All right? He, he, he good now. He with the father. But his life is an example. His doctrine is an example. All right? This is the year that the Lord is turning up, man. All right? It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh that I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So hopefully we're made manifest in your conscience that you're edified. Edified means to build, that it build upon your faith toward Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, your belief in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Because if not, you destroy it. You, you're damned, man. All right? And that's just the truth. You know? He that got ears to hear, let him hear. All right? You got guys watching the video. There's one guy I was watching, you know, now he kind of not new to YouTube, but he blowing up. He got some good information, but he's taking from the Israelites. He's taking from brothers videos and learning. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, he dissing us. But you got information from brothers, man. The going to this, the going to that. You know, it ain't nothing wrong. But the point is, hey, we do these lessons for you to wake up. And if you can't get it, that's that's your fault. You know, because time going to tell who has the truth, you know. Guys be butthurt, man. These men be mad, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me not rant. All right. Um, let's go back to Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. So this is a spiritual war. All right. This is a war upon your soul. Technology going in your body takes away your soul. All right. When Esau has the power to deal with frequencies and to have these satellites give off a certain frequency, they can control you. All right. They're playing as if they're the most high. Matter of fact, on that uh pot on that podcast or on that show I seen when the guy was speaking about uh, uh CRISPR and he broke it down. All right, the guy they kind of made a joke. The guy said, Well, what is it? We're playing God? And he said, No, we're not playing God. You know, we, we're uh just sticking our thumbs in God's face or something, something like that, you know. And 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 hey, that's a wicked man. All right, I'm not saying those men, but they, they could be Edomites. They look like it, but he was talking about the elites because that's who's running the world. That's who wants to control the world as if they're the most high, the elites. All right, so it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, meaning spirits. You're fighting against a spiritual force, whether you believe it or not. You know, it says against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. So you got demonic energy you got demonic spirits that's being released every day. And Esau tapped into that, that rim to dibble and dabble with these demonic spirits, man. He made deals. He sold his soul, all right, to these demons. But guess what? All of them demons, they serve and praise Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's the kicker, man. That's the kicker. Because Jake think by selling their souls and having the riches of this world that, that they are right, that they winning. No, you're losing. We're telling you that those demons worship and praise Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is the power we worship, which is the ultimate true power. Okay? We're not worshiping demons. We're going to worship the Lord. What did the Heavenly Father say? Put no God before him. So Esau, you know, having his blessing 
which is to live by the sword and the fatness of the earth. But his his uh, his spirituality is Satan. Okay, his his mannerism is all Satan. You know, even that blessing that he have, it's a curse bless. You know, to live by the sword, that means you got to kill and rob and murder to have shit. And that's why the Lord is bringing his uh, kingdom to an end. Because the scripture says, Second Edward 6, uh, once Esau fall, Jacob is up next that followeth. All right. So it says, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places, man. You got warlocks, witches. All right. You got all these rappers on a low level, low level. Performing rituals at concerts Performing rituals for demon power To be more glorified To be idol worship You know Fucking dumbasses man Anyway Let's get back Let's get back to the scriptures Taking heed This is in the book, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that's important too, you know, because as much as you listen to the men of the Lord and you learn this gospel, you have to study. That's why you women, you know, for women cases, you need to be with a man, you know, hey, you know, get get with your husband now before it's too late, you know, so that what, hey, you could be a part of that body, man. You could be, you could have um, this truth sealed in you, man. Get your husband, man. All right. It says, study thy show, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, you know, because like I was saying, um, you got to study. For this word to be in you Alright So you can know the truth It's one thing of hearing it But it's another thing of actually absorbing it Taking heed to it Taking heed because therefore You got You got demons out here False prophets That had, that that can You know The scriptures say seducing spirits You know They seduce you Trick you You know We're supposed to have our feet shrouded In the preparation of truth you know, having a helmet of salvation, you know, and, and not being able, you know, not 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 being uh, convinced of a lie. You know, you're supposed to hear it when you hear the lie man. you cut that shit off, man, and you move away from it, not um, dancing with it. You know, having it lingered. You got to rebuke certain spirits that come in your head. You got to rebuke certain thoughts, you know, certain wicked thoughts. The scriptures say our mind is wicked, uh, is desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you know that the flesh is wicked and certain thoughts come in your head, you know, that ain't your thoughts. And when it's not your thoughts and you know it's wicked, you're supposed to rebuke it, you know? It says, study the show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. First Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine. It says, but take heed, lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. All right. All right. So, you know, that's basically the point. I know it's pretty a long lesson. Y'all can't see me because the sun locking. But uh, let's see if I could block out the sun a little bit. But anyway, uh. You know, let's. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.